Yes. Good morning. Day 12. And I can't believe I'm here already. It's nearly been two weeks. Two weeks since I started. It's actually raining here in Alice Springs. I can't believe it. Day 12. Really happy. Hope you guys are enjoying the videos. Uh, I'm not sure when this one's going to come out, but the date is around about August the 25th, I believe. So it'll be in September soon. Yeah, this is, well, if you haven't seen before, this is, this is where I live. It's called South Edge Estate. It's an apartment complex, townhouse complex in Alice Springs. Um, I bought one at the start of last year. No, sorry, at the, at the start. Yeah, sorry, I did. I put my deposit down at the start of last year and moved in here in December of last year. So I've been in here about nine months and it's just filled up slowly, slowly, slowly and now it's a real cool, thriving little community and I'm really happy to be living here. So, And it's great to be owning one, you know, because um, that was a huge goal of mine for years and years was to own my own place and it really does give you a sense of um, contentment and, you know, you do feel like you're at home. I, I walk in my door, I put my stuff down, and I'm like, ah, oh, you know, I'm home now. And it really is my home, because I own it. So that's a pretty cool feeling. But um, with that being said, guys, today I'm going to work. I'm working 9.30 to 5.30 in town. So I do have a lunch break. I'll probably be coming home, uh, replying to some comments on YouTube, because I've been getting more and more comments, and I tend to let them sort of go for a, a few days. Um, if I see like a really long, you know, detailed question, I, I want to sit down properly, read it, and answer properly. So I'll put that, I'll put it off, and I'll put it off, and I'll put it off, and then I'll end up getting, you know, five of them, and I'll think, shit, I've got to do that. So that's what I'm going to do today at lunchtime. Um, I will be working out after work, of course, and I think we're going to do some chest and shoulders. So chest is definitely a muscle group I want to be bringing up. I'm hitting it twice a week, every week. So this is my, this is probably actually my, it's either my fourth or fifth chest session, but I'm definitely training chest a lot, because I do want to bring up my chest. And they probably think I'm a weird cunt, but it's all good. So, hope you guys are having a great morning, or a great day, wherever you are in the world. I'm going to drink my coffee, I can feel it working already. And um, I'll see you guys at lunchtime. Peace. Alright guys, what is up? No more filming yesterday. The rain is still here. And I'm not shitting you guys. This is my thought this is what feels like my first day off in fucking ages, man. Like I know I just got back from Thailand, but I shit you not, I've worked over 120 hours this fortnight. My base salary is is based on 73 and a half hours per fortnight. So I have literally done like 50 something, well, probably about 50 hours overtime, which really fucks you. But at the end of the day, on payday, that's when it really matters. So with that being said, guys, I'm not complaining. I, I do get paid for it, so it doesn't matter. But this is my first day off in ages. So like I was talking about yesterday um, with, with, you know, replying to comments and things like that, that's exactly what I'm going to do now. So it's about... 10 in the morning, I've actually spent the last three hours um, editing up the first couple of episodes. Um, I've just try I've been trying to get my head around this new video editing software that I've been using called Power Director. Um, I feel like I feel like I got used to using iMovie easier than, than getting used to this, but I wanted to choose a software that had great um, great reviews. It had all of the functions I need and it wasn't too expensive. So that's what I got. I was looking at, um, you know, Sony Vegas Pro. I think it's called that. And that was around about 300 bucks. And that cost me, the Power Director cost me about 60. So, you know, I decided to go with that. If I don't like it, it's not the end of the world. I can upgrade to something like um, Vegas. I think it's called Sony Vegas, anyway. Uh, but, but yeah, I'm not going to yet. But, so I've done the editing, I've done a few voiceovers. It's funny, you know, doing the voiceovers, I, I get the whole video edited up and then I will leave it for like a couple of days because I'm trying to think of what, I, what I'm going to say on the voiceover. And what I tend to do is I paralyze myself because 
I think too much about it and I'm like, fuck, if I just had of, you know, picked up the microphone and done it straight away, just one take, it'd be so much easier and it would be fucking dumb. And I think I'm going to do that in the future, but it's just a matter of finding the time really because I need, you know, a good, a good amount of time to sit down and fucking concentrate and get into it. But in saying that, I do really enjoy editing. And, you know, I don't get paid anything for YouTube. I don't get paid anything for doing this, but I enjoy it. So at the end of the day, I'm, I'm not going to stop, am I? So I get paid for my other job, which I do enjoy. And I do this as a hobby, but I still enjoy it. I hope you guys like it too. And uh, by all means, give me some constructive criticism in the comment section. That's what it's there for. And after this, guys... At around about 11, I'm going to go and train some legs and some triceps. I know it's a little bit of a random sort of combination, and it's probably not the best, because when you think about it, guys, if I go and, and pump the shit out of my triceps, pretty much like a lot of blood and nutrients are going to my tries, right? So then straight after that, if I go then and do a lower body uh, workout, it's going to pull all that blood and nutrients from my triceps down into my legs, or that's how I see it. How do you guys see it? I'm not sure. But I don't, I don't think it's the best thing to do, although today I do need to do both triceps and legs, and I have the day off so I can spend as much time in the gym as I want, which is uh, positive. And yeah, um, the reason I've got the, the hood on is because of this. <laughs> and uh, that's probably the reason why I'm going to be wearing this in the gym. But uh, I'm going to get back to a few people um, through the comment section. I really, really appreciate every single comment, every like, every share, you know, every view means the world to me. I've said it before and I'll say it again, it really does. So I appreciate every single one of you guys and I hope you're learning something. So it's day 12, no sorry, it's day 13. This vlog will be day 12 and 13 put together. I'm going to go to the gym soon-ish. We're going to go and kill a workout. Hopefully I'll be able to con the personal trainer down there into um, filming me again so I don't have to use my tripod because I much, I much prefer those angles like going round and going up to a body part and showing the vascularity and the detail and stuff rather than just sitting a tripod there and fucking you know filming from the same angle the whole time that's not interesting at all so anyways that's my opinion let's get back to this shit Alright guys, what is going on? We're here with another voiceover. Today's workout was obviously triceps. I said I was going to do legs, but I actually am about to do legs right now. It's the day after, I've just got home from work, and I'm fucking exhausted, and I've got leg day to do. So, you know those feels, guys, you know those feels. But either ways, um, the workout yesterday was fantastic. Uh, the pump was to be saluted, and I started off the triceps workout with a superset between close grip uh, bench press, as you're seeing. My tempo is nice and slow. I don't lock out at the top. Um, I'm only using, you know, 25 kg each side. I wanted to get sets of 10 to 12 good quality reps. And then straight over to the floor where I bang out some close grip uh, push-ups targeting the triceps. No chest. There is absolutely no chest involvement in this, mo in this uh, movement. It is all triceps. So we're talking, you know, 10 to 12 reps on both exercises. From there, I went over to a pushdown. We did a superset between V-bar pushdowns, as you're seeing, uh, combined with a straight bar pushdown. So you'll notice I don't lock out on these things either. I, you know, when I do come up, I tend to bring it towards my uh, forehead. I think that that sort of takes a lot of the bad pressure off of the elbows. I think, guys, if you try and stop the movement too early 
and you only come up halfway, um, I think that's putting a lot of unnecessary pressure on your elbows. I find that if I do let it come up towards my forehead, um, it just feels a whole lot better. And you know, I am still keeping the tension on the triceps as it comes up to my forehead. There's no, there, there is no point in this whole entire set that the tension comes off my triceps, I'll tell you that much. So once again, we're going for 10 to 12 good quality reps on the push down. I believe that was with 38 kilos, and then I moved over to the straight bar push down, which I basically halved the weight, so we're at about 18 kilo, and yeah, just banging them out again, man. The last exercise for triceps, I just finished them off with some dips. Uh, you know, my triceps were pretty fatigued by now. Um, dips is something I will either probably start off with as a sort of a warm-up exercise, or I'll finish with them. And with this one, the superset was between uh, body weight dips and assisted dips. So six exercises total, three supersets. We've got five to six working sets on each. So I would say it's around about 20, 20 good quality supersets for triceps. And yeah, my triceps were fucked. I felt, I felt like the Hulk, man. They were pumped as hell. So... Um, Following that, guys, I tried, I tried, I tried to convince myself to do legs, but but uh, it didn't happen, guys. Didn't happen. Decided to do some, decided to do some back. I was a little bit pissed because I forgot my straps, um, but that doesn't matter. We're we're um we're mucking around with about 97 kg in this here set. This is a working set. I did two warm up sets as per usual, five working sets with a drop set to finish, and my working set weight for today was 97 kilo. From there, I went over to a pull down. I did two variations of a pull down. I did a conventional pull down just with your normal, you know, angled bar like you're seeing here. Once again, two warm up sets, five working sets. Um, I, I, I vary the grip. Today's grip was quite close. I've, as you can see, I've, I've got my, my thumbs to the side and I've just got my hands um, on the part of the bar where it starts to curve downward. I feel that that grip gives me a fantastic grip. And one thing I want to say to you guys is the fact that the wider you do the lat pull downs, the wider you put your hands does not mean your lats are going to grow wider. I'm telling you. For example, this grip here, a neutral grip, is my all-time favorite grip for a lat pull down. It may look like you're sort of doing a row, and it is, I guess it is a, a com combination of a row and a pull down, but it feels fucking fantastic. I honestly think that the normal conventional lat pull down bar is not ideal. I feel that this grip is more ideal, and I actually, I really enjoy an underarm grip too. But uh, those are just my opinions, guys. It was triceps and back, fantastic workout, uh, 20 sets of tries, 15 sets of back, and we were done, so I'll see you guys in the car for a post-workout chat. Peace, guys. All right, everybody, what is going on? Fuck, I, I'm pumped. I'm pumped right now. And I've just finished triceps and back. So we didn't actually do legs. Um, I got through, like, literally 45 minutes to an hour worth of straight tricep work. My triceps were fried. And I was like, I do not want, I, I went back to what I said before, I do not want to take the nutrients away from my triceps right now. I mean, I want them to be fucking filled with blood for as long as possible. But I do want to train a second muscle group. So I chose back and, you know, it was either going to be a good idea or a bad idea. If I did deadlifts, I would not be able to do legs tomorrow. So what I decided to do was stick to, you know, your rowing movements and your pull down movements. Still went heavy, but it never compromised my lower back at all. I didn't feel any pain in it. And I was really pissed off actually because I, I forgot my straps and I forgot my belt. So, you know, I used, I used relatively heavy weight, but I think I could have used heavier had I had my straps and my belt. But anyways, regardless of that, um, fantastic workout. Like, honestly guys, like having, having the carbs and having the nutrients in my system to train is just, it's so amazing. I, I'm loving it. I'm fucking loving it. And the only thing I need to watch is the fact that I don't spill over and I don't take in 5,000 calories a day, you know? If, if, as long as I can stick to around about 4,000 calories a day, I'm going to make such good lean gains. I know it. I fucking know it. I just got to stick to that. So, anyways, the reason I say that is because in the last few days, I actually haven't st stuck to that at all. Um, my caloric intake has probably been around about 5,000 a day. Um, I have been training hard every single day, so you know that is not going to change. That's a fucking constant, and it's something that 
if you're in a surplus and you're not training hard, what the fuck are you in a surplus for? You know, that this having these extra calories, having this extra food is just making me so damn motivated to train. I know that, you know, if I if I put a jumper on and I go and do three or four sets and then I take my jumper off, I'm gonna have a good pump and I'm gonna look fucking good and I'm gonna feel good and it's gonna be a good workout. And you know, that is a priceless, priceless feeling, I'm telling you. I'm so happy to feel that again, as you guys can probably tell. But anyways, um, I'm gonna go to the supermarket now and get some food for some meal prep. What I've been struggling to do lately is to have an adequate protein amount on hand, you know, wherever I am in the day. Um, I've been relying on protein powder first thing in the morning to carry me through to my first meal, which is about lunchtime. Um, but some days, you know, I have to push out that first meal because um, I, I forget to take it or I don't take it or I, I have to go out from work without having my meal first, etc, etc. But at the end of the day, what I want, what I want, guys, is to open my fridge first thing in the morning before I go to work and take out 200 grams of protein in whatever form. I'm talking, you know, it could be steak, it could be chicken, turkey, fish, whatever. I want to be able to pull it out, 200 grams of protein, know I have it right there, and then, okay, that's my protein sorted for the day. I'll have 50 grams of whey protein in a shake first thing in the morning, and then this 200 grams I will be able to portion out throughout the rest of the day to take me up to 250 grams of protein for the day. So, with that being said, I'm gonna to go to the supermarket now and buy all of my protein sources. I'm gonna buy some Tupperware, and I'm gonna go home and cook it all up you know, I'm probably gonna have, I don't know, 10 200 gram protein serves. So what's 200 grams of protein in chicken? It's around about a kg. So <laughs> I'm probably gonna have to get quite big Tupperware containers to fit a kg of chicken breast in, but that's all good. That's what I'm gonna do now. And it's gonna make it so much easier. It's gonna put me at ease because the easy thing to find throughout the day in shops and, you know, at work and things like that is carbohydrates. It's fucking easy to find carbs anywhere. But protein, clean protein sources for, for my diet, for what I want, uh, is extremely hard if you don't have it with you or if you don't think ahead. So, anyways, we're going to go to the supermarket now. I'll see you guys at home. Shaboom! Who's that? Who's that, guys? Shaboom! All right, everybody, we are back in the kitchen from the supermarket and the gym. And I wouldn't recommend going shopping when you're hungry. Even when you're bulking, it's not the best thing because I went in there to get protein and I came out with uh, both of these. But it doesn't matter, guys, because I'm bulking now, motherfuckers. <laughs> That's definitely going to be pulled out as an excuse um, on multiple occasions during next year. But I did get the protein and I did get the Tupperware, so we will be baking some meal prep. Um, some protein meal prep. What I got was kangaroo mints, two kgs. We've got kangaroo burgers, um, around about 900 grams worth. And I've got diced chicken breast, three, three packets of around about a kg each. So that's three kgs of chicken, around about a kg of kangaroo burgers, and two kgs of kangaroo mints. Now both, um, both kinds of meat are pretty much the same macros. It's around about 20 maybe 22 grams of protein per 100 grams. So, you know, we're talking around about a kg of each um, I will be wanting to take with me each day. So, with that being said, it'll be burgers one day, it'll be mints for two days, and it'll be chicken for three days. I'll just tell you guys what else I got. I got some carbs, of course. We got Nutri-Grain bars, fruit bars, which taste like shit, because I've already tried them, couldn't help it. And we've got some Uncle Toby's yogurt and honeycomb flavoured whole grain lunchbox bars. Man, those sound good for you, don't they? Well, let's have a look at the macros. I didn't even have a look. 2.3 protein, 3.8 fat, 18.6 carb with only 5 grams of sugar. Not bad, not bad. I will be having these. Um, as well as that, I went past the bakery. Don't go past bakeries when you're bulking and when you're hungry because you buy things. And I got some apple scrolls which is their lowest fat option. They're around about 200, 250 calories each for one of these, and they're pretty big, so I mean, that's, that's pretty good, man. It must be low fat. And what else? We got some Pepsi Max because I just cannot bring myself to drink normal soda, um, you know, full strength soda. It's, 
it's just it's just something I, I can't do. Just can't do it. It's too bad for you, man. It's too bad for your teeth. But then you've got my sister. She's always saying that you know it's better for you to drink normal soda than fucking artificially sweetened soda because the artificially sweetened stuff is actually worse for your teeth. So if any of you guys actually have some concrete evidence on that, uh, let me know in the comments section below. But in the meantime, guys, I'm going to get this meal prep underway and I'll see you guys when it's all done, which I assume will be in about one hour's time. So I'll see you then. Let's turn that off. All right, guys, literally about an hour on the dot later, we have four containers of chicken breast, four containers of kangaroo meat. Um, I've even written on them what they are. 750 grams of chicken breast, 500 grams of kangaroo meat, and I've worked it out so each one of the chicken breast um, containers is a total of around about 180 grams of protein, minimal fat, minimal carb. So 180 grams of protein, if I can grab that in the morning, take it to work, that is absolutely perfect. I'm, I'm fucking stoked. This is the way, this is the way to do it, man. This is the way to do it, especially for protein, which is the hardest thing to get, like I said. But, so I've got four of those, and 500 grams of kangaroo works out to be about 100 and, it's around, well, it's about 100 to 110 grams of protein per container, so if I'm going to take some kangaroo, um, I can either take two, or I can just take one and rely on my intuition to get some other protein. Um, the kangaroo burgers, I didn't make, I just honestly, I just can't be fucked, and I've got protein for four days, plus at least another two or three, so that's the next week, and fuck, that was so easy, man. Honestly, like, I I've just, in an hour, I've sorted my protein for the next week. That's awesome. I'm going to do that every single week. What a fucking great idea. Anyways, I'll see you guys at the next meal. I am going to have some chicken breast, I believe. And I've pretty much had my post-workout carbs of uh, treat foods. So that wasn't ideal. But post-workout, I can allow myself to have a bit of sugar. Because it's just going to drive the nutrients back into the muscles to start the repair process even faster. So, that's how I see it anyway. So I'm gonna put some of these in the freezer, eat one now, and I'll see you guys soon. Nothing can stop me, I'm all the way up. Oh.